Hi, my name is Ronnie Datta, and today we're going to talk about the Kolkata class of destroyer ships, more specifically INS Chennai on Hausa Defense. The Kolkata class are a class of stealth guided missile destroyers constructed for the Indian Navy. The class comprises of three ships. Kolkata, Kochi and Chennai, all of which were built by Mazagao Dock Limited in India and are the largest destroyers to be operated by the Indian Navy. The destroyers are a follow-on of the Project 15 Delhi class destroyers but are considerably more capable due to major improvements in the design, the addition of substantial land attacking capabilities, the fitting out of modern sensors and weapon system and the expanded use of net centric capabilities such as cooperative engagement capability which we'll get to later. On this episode we'll talk about the INS Chennai which was the last of the three ships built under the code name Project 15A or Kolkata class. INS Chennai was laid down in February 2006 and was launched on 2nd April 2010 by the then Defence Minister Sri A.K. Antony's wife Elizabeth Antony at a function in Mumbai. INS Chennai was commissioned on 21st November 2016 by the Indian Defence Minister Manohar Parikar. INS Chennai has on its seal a bull symbolising the Jalikattu festival celebrated in Tamil Nadu from where the ship associates its heritage. On 17th April 2017, INS Chennai was dedicated to the city of Chennai in presence of its Chief Minister K. Palanisamy. INS Chennai is designed to have state-of-the-art weapons and sensors, stealth features, an advanced action information system, a comprehensive auxiliary control system, world-class modular living spaces, sophisticated power distribution system and a host of other advanced features. This ships integrate many new features and involve design changes that ensure a far more advanced weapons platforms compared to the earlier Project 15 ships. The ship's air defense capability designed to counter the threat of enemy aircraft and anti-ship cruise missiles revolve around the vertical launch, long-range surface-to-air missile system co-developed by DRDO. Four AK-630 rapid-fire guns will provide the ship with close in-defense capability while an MR gun will enable her to provide effective naval gunfire support. Twin tube torpedo launchers and rocket launchers have also been de developed for INS Chennai which will add punch to the ship's anti-submarine capability. INS Chennai is also designed to carry the supersonic BrahMos surface-to-surface -surface missile system. The system enables the ship to engage shore-based and naval surface targets at long range making it a lethal platform for strike against enemy targets. Now we come to the cooperative engagement capability which is a sensor network with integrated fire control capability that is intended to significantly improve battle force, air and missile defense capabilities by combining data from multiple battle force air search sensors on CC equipped in units into a single real-time composite track picture. This will greatly enhance fleet air defense by making jamming more difficult and allocating defensive missiles on a battle group basis. On 15th May 2019, the Indian Navy became the second service in the world after the United States and the first in Asia to have developed the capability by conducting the maiden cooperative engagement firing of the Barak 8. The firing was undertaken on the western seaboard by INS Kochi and INS Chennai wherein the missiles of both ships were controlled by one ship to intercept different aerial targets at extended ranges. INS Chennai along with INS Sunana was sent to the Persian Gulf and Gulf of Oman in June 2019 to protect Indian shipping interests amid tensions in the Strait of Hormuz. I hope you liked this video about the INS Chennai and if you did, please share it with your friends and family, subscribe to My Nation and keep watching How's the Defense.